Okay, um, so uh, we are going to look at some questions uh, on circuit analysis and uh, the question that we have is asking us to determine the current um, the current when the charge is given. Okay, so it's saying determine the current uh, flowing through an element if the charge uh, the charge flow is given by uh, those charges that were given there. Okay, so just remind ourselves um, when you're talking about current, this is just a rate of change of charge uh, that is measured in amperes. Okay, so uh, your current, um, your current in this case, which is uh, I is equals to uh, dQ over dT, meaning um, we are differentiating a charge, which is our Q with respect to what? to t there okay so talking about the first one if we pick the first one here which is uh, where the charge is given as um, uh, 8 t squared uh, plus 4 t minus 2 okay so to find the current there we're going to say our current is equals to um, uh, I'll just say d dt of what we have here okay what we have is our 8 t squared plus uh, 4 t minus 2 and we have the the coulomb uh, on the other side okay so um this is uh maybe to someone it may it, to someone it may appear complicated but this is very straightforward it's more like um the basic differentiation that we know where we have uh, dy dx we are differentiating y with respect to what to x now in this case we are differentiating charge with respect to what to t there okay which is our time so what you're going to get here is uh, dif uh, remember to say for this one is a constant you're going to get um, <coughs> you're going to you're going to have a zero here we are going to have a four and here we are going to have a sixteen t so giving us a current to be I'm going to say current now is equals to what um, sixteen t plus what plus four okay we can say those are in amperes okay and that's the current that we have right there okay. So for the second one, uh, the second one we are given the charge as um, 3e to the power uh, minus t minus uh, 5e to the power minus 2t. Okay, so uh, <coughs> it's very important that we have the knowledge of how we differentiate uh, or how we find the derivatives of exponentials. So we are given this as our charge, we need to find our current. Okay, so from that what you are going to get is this. Um, we are saying uh, d dt, okay, that's our current that we are finding, of um, 3e to the power minus t minus 5e to the power minus 2t there. So um, if you are given, if you are given an exponential, let me just say give 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 this as an example where we say y is equals to maybe e to the power x. So this when you differentiate will be will give you what? Will give you just e x. Okay, now what about when you say e is equals to, I mean, y is equals to e to the power 2x? What you're going to get as a derivative is 2e to the power what? 2x there. So, what it is that when you're differentiating exponentials, um, you pick this one the way it is, then multiply it by the derivative of what? Of the power. Okay, and the derivative of, of x in this case is what? Is 1. So, yeah, I just simply said 1 multiplied by what? e to the power x, giving me what? e to the power what? x there so even here I take this one the way it is it's more like uh, I say e to the power 2x then I multiply by the derivative of the power which is what a 2 and that that's what we have there so that's how we go about uh, differentiating um, exponentials it's very important that we have that knowledge because we're going to make it we are going to make use of it as we talk about um, uh, how you talk about such questions okay so now our current is going to be uh, it's going to be something like minus 3e to the power minus t okay then here uh, this one the way it is okay uh, including the negative so the way it is here you're going to multiply by the derivative of what of the power there the power that we have there the derivative is what is negative 2 so negative 2 multiplied by negative 5 that will give us positive what positive 10 e to the power negative 2 t so meaning our current is equals to if you to rearrange that you're going to have 10 e to the power minus 2 t minus 3 e to the power negative t and that's our current uh, right there 
okay so going to the last one so the last one we are given the charge as 2e uh, I mean 20e to the power minus 4t cos 50t and that is okay for so just an emphasis the the previous one that I did we are we are getting nano amps because we are following the units that we have here okay so I somehow forgot that one okay so we have nano amps there okay so going to the last one that one we are given in uh, micro coulomb okay we're given that one in micro coulomb so we're going to get uh, in micro micro amps okay so to to differentiate that this one um, what we need to do here is that we need to use um, the product rule so what we are saying is that our our dq dt which is what our current okay we are going to use um, the product we are going to we're going to say um, we're going to use u prime v plus u v prime okay so you might find that sometimes this equation in terms of uh, x and y is written instead of instead of it being written as u prime uh, v plus um, that is um, u v prime sometimes it's written as uh, uh, du dx okay du dx plus um, in fact we have a v there okay du dx v or v du dx okay I'll say v v du dx plus uh, u dv dx like that and that is our what our y so whether I see it like this or like this is still one and the same thing so now here what we need to do is that we need to choose what uh, which one is going to be our u and which one is going to be our what which one is going to be our our t I mean our v not t rather so uh, we're, we're, let me choose e as the u so I'll say u I think let me just get rid of this because we no longer need it okay just move it there like that okay so for, for let, let's say our u our u is equals to 20e to the power uh, negative 40 then our v is equals to cos 50 t okay so our u prime or in this case our du is equals to what is equals to remember to say you take this one the way it is then multiply by the what multiply by the derivative of the of the of the power there and the derivative of the power is minus 4 so we're just we're just, we are just saying uh, minus 4 multiplied by the 20 giving us minus 80 minus 80 e uh, to the power negative 40 like that then our dv or our v prime is equals to so when you're differentiating um, when you're differentiating uh, what's this uh, uh, trigonometric functions um, of course we know how to differentiate cos then what you do is that you also need to multiply it by what by what you have here okay so it's more like if you have y is equals to cos let me say cos x this will be equals to y is equals to minus c minus sin x but if i have y is equals to cos 2x what i'm going to get is that y will be equals to minus 2 my uh, 2 sin 2 sin 2x like that okay so uh what i'd want you to to, to do is that uh, for you to remember easily um for you to remember easily in terms of uh, differentiating as well as integrating um uh, trick functions try to have this in your mind okay so let's say we have our sign here okay so let's say we have our sign here okay then we have our we have our course here okay no in fact I'll swap them this is supposed to be course then the other one sign so it's supposed to have let's say we have our course theta here then sign uh, theta here meaning this is minus cos theta and this is minus sin what sin theta so if I want to differentiate remember to say I said if you have y is equals to cos x 
what you're going to get is y is equals to minus sine x where is the minus coming from okay so what you do is that um, when you're differentiating move anticlockwise like this what does it mean if I'm differentiating sine what I'm going to get is a cos if I'm differentiating cos what I'm going to get is a sine if I'm differentiating uh, I mean what I'm going to get is negative sine if I'm differentiating negative sine what I'm going to get is negative cos sine if I'm differentiating negative cos sine what I'm get, going to get is what is a sine there okay so the same uh, the, the exact uh, the reverse happens for for uh, for integration if I'm integrating sine I'm going to get what negative cos sine if I'm, I'm integrating um, if I'm integrating cos what I'm going to get is what I'm going to get a sign there so for integration move clockwise for in for differentiation move, move what anticlockwise so that's how you easily remember um, the way forward okay so meaning here um, we are multiplying by what we have a negative we have a negative because what you're going to get is a sign okay we have a negative here then the 50 comes in as well because you are also uh, differentiating that uh, the 50 comes in we're going to say minus 50 sign what sign 50 T so now bringing the formula for for uh, the product uh, the product room we say this uh, u multiplied by I mean u prime multiplied by V our u prime is this one here so we are saying minus 80 e to the power 4 negative 4 t multiplied by our v what is our v is cos what cos 50 t plus here we are saying our u multiplied by our dv or our v prime so our u is what is 20 e to the power negative 4 t multiplied by what our dv which is minus 50 uh, sine what sine 50 t like that so what you're going to get here is you're going to get minus c uh, minus 50 e I mean minus 80 e to the power negative 40 uh, cos e, cos 50 t there okay so here I guess we're going to get a minus because of the minus that we have here so uh, we are saying 20 by 50 that is a thousand that's a thousand uh, that's a thousand e minus e, uh, 40 I mean to the power minus 40 mm, sine what sine 50 t there so this is the current that we have and remember to say that we have it in micro coulombs so we have in micro amps like that and that's our current so that's how you go about answering uh, such a question on circuit analysis thank you very much for watching